I finished this. Hey guys, this is Estelle and Alice from and Super, Super Learning, Learning Sisters. Sisters. Today we are up for a 24 hours readathon. Yup. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to have a 24 hour readathon. And today we just took a shower and then we're going, we're filming this TBR and other stuff. And then we're going to sleep. Then tomorrow we will do the 24 hour readathon. Mm -hmm. So we are reading these books. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Alice, can you tell me what books you're going to read? So I'm going to read How to Read Fried Worms. How to read? No, How to Eat. Huh. How to Eat Fried Worms. How to Be Cool in the Third Grade. Rules and Sisters. In my books, first I am hoping to finish The Thing About Jellyfish. And then I'm going to try to read One Crazy Summer. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm going to try to listen to the audiobook Save Me a Seat and Field. I'm just trying to read this when I have some spare time. Yup. I think that's it for our TBR. So right now it's near 7, 7.09 a.m. And that means the readathon just started and we are going to eat breakfast and we're going to read it still several pages or listen to the audiobook. That way we will still be able to read books. So right now we just wash our faces and brush our teeth. So right now we're going to eat breakfast while reading, of course. Oh huh. ah, you can't open the milk. I, I to... Oh, there's this milk. Okay, uh, do you want it first? No, you can. Okay, do you want it too? Yeah. I'm going to put this back. You didn't even eat a bit. You want to listen to the audiobook? I'll find it for you. You don't think there's how to eat worms? No, how can you fry your worms? Think so? So right now it's 7.48 a.m. Reading well eating slow down a lot so next time we're going to try to listen to the audiobook right yeah and but right now we're done eating so we i am going to have four hours reading before we go outside yeah i'm on this far off the book yep. you read a lot thank you what about you I just went to chapter two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. 
9 a.m. Alice. 9 a.m. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it because, fortunately, I was able to read 200 pages until now. And I hope that 70, uh, 80 pages is not a big problem for me. And hopefully, I can read one crazy sm summer. What about you? Me, uh, so I've got like 80 pages left, so I I hope I can read it, but I think it's going to take like a few hours, but I, I think I can read it. And after that, I am going to read How to Be Cool in the Third Grade because I'm kind of, um, don't know things about school. Uh, well, you know a lot about Korean school, but uh, she doesn't really know about American school. Uh, this book is so far so good. I really like it. It's so dramatic. I love it. I'm in the middle of a climax, so I gotta keep reading. What about you? Um, it's... I'm in the part when... Um, when two kids are fighting. <gasps> That's also a really good, interesting part. So let's continue reading. Did you eat this? No. I love these cookies. So right now, the reason why we're in again is because we wanted to read outside, though that was too cold. It's autumn in our country, so we had to come in again. Oh my. Awesome sauce. Curious, what's awesome sauce? I don't know. Maybe it's a sauce that is awesome. No. I'm done reading this book, The Thing About Jellyfish. <laughs> so I'm probably going to move on to One Crazy Summer, which will also remind me of summer because this one is kind of related to summer. 
though it's talking about the school year passing by, I'm really excited because this book is such a wonderful book. And I'm pretty sure that if I have time, I will definitely have a book review on this book. So right now, I'm going to read One Crazy Summer, but I found out that the font size is kind of small and my eyes need a rest. So I'm going to use my Kindle because of its font size. I'm going to make it bigger so that I can read it. We're it listening sucks. to the audiobook while we are, are having a walk. So this is the thing. Alice is going to have this ride and then I'm going to follow her by running with the audio book <laughs> next to me. So let's see how it goes. We're on downstairs without even tying my shoes first. The parents are saying, Let it go. Hi, right now it's 2.23, 2.24 p.m. And right now we just had a walk at the park. Uh, we use, we rode the zip line and the swing. Though while we did that, we listened to the audiobook and then we came back to our house right now. And then we just took a shower and ate our lunch. And during that time, we all listened to the audiobook and then finished the book called Save Me a Seat, which is about the fifth graders trying to get along and about bullying and other um, problems about students these days. And then, as you all know, I am reading um, One Crazy Summer. I am on like the 15% of this book. And I'm going to start reading again. I like because um, I made fresh tomato juice and then we drank it. Okay. What are, how are you doing? I'm all done with how to eat fried worms. What page are you on? 94? <coughs> wow, you're almost done. Yeah. Let's read. my tongue it's heat waving out of it okay it's fine. so since i'm done with how to eat fried worms i'm reading how to be cool in the third grade right now Looks interesting. 
hopefully. Uh, and just in case I am almost reaching the goal, I'm like the 30% of this book. I'm on the book for a while because my Kindle was getting hot. And I'm on um, this bar right now. Just like one third of this book. Until now, so far so good. I like it. And I like the main character especially. Yep, it's a best, it's by the best selling author. Also the Newberry Honor book. Usually when a book gets a Newberry Honor, it's like here, but this book does not have it, so I did not know it. This won like 15 awards. It's so amazing. If I can manage to finish this book, I should have a book review on this. Definitely. What about you? Is it good so far? Yeah. It's about um, a kid called Robbie. Robbie? Robbie. Yeah, it's him. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading. But I think I should rest for a while or something because my, uh, my body kind of stiffened after reading. stiffened and I'm on like 35% of this book. strings. One of the kids' names Bo. It's too hot. It's too hot. So I'm trying to sleep. 
and that's why I needed a fan. Yeah. Can I use it? Okay, for a moment, I guess. Thank you. So right now, uh, I just finished supper and I am going to read How to Be Cool in the Third Grade from where I read while drinking this orange juice and eating this snack. So right now, I am finally done with this book called How to Be Cool in the Third Grade. This book is about a boy called Robbie and he want to be cool in the third grade. So it's about him making a list of how, what he will need to be cool in the third grade. So this book was very interesting and it gave me a lot of ideas how to be cool and this book I recommend this to third graders I'm Del Delphine Clark. I'm Vanetta Clark. I'm Fern Clark. And we live down the street with my and Big Pop. With Pa and Big Mom. Yeah, down the street in a blue stucco house. Not with this lady. Not with her. Sure, we don't. <laughs> Unconvincing, right? I've read a lot. Is it fun? Yeah. It's kind of fun when... Um, um, this girl... This girl get bit by tons of mosquitoes. But then, it's like this when her little brother is giving her back So I'm done.
fun with this book, One Crazy Summer. Though I feel like I really rushed through it, so I didn't really have a chance to totally enjoy it, but I finished it and I am pretty proud of myself right now. Even though I'm five minutes late from the readathon, it's supposed to end five minutes before this, but I'm still kind of proud of myself for reading The Thing with Julie Fish, One Crazy Summer. I will read Bridgefield, the book that I really wanted to um, work on for the several months. I hope you read Bridgefield. I hope I finish this one. So it was the first time trying Readathon for me, and it was fun because you get to read tons of books that you want to read but it was still hard work because your body stiffen and stuff. I read three books. How to get cool in the third grade, how to eat fried worms, and sisters. I am very proud of myself because it's the first time reading three books in one day. So today I had my first attempt for a readathon and then I was like, wow, it's definitely one of the best experiences that you can have. But before the readathon, you can hardly wait for it. So except for that part, it's all perfect. And not only that you can do it with your sister, brother, or your siblings, you can also do it with your friends, your families, etc., and whoever you want to do it with. And you can share your opinions about multiple books. And you can have a debate or whatever, or fun activities that you can have. So one fun thing about readathons is that you can have a tbr and then you can read and then you can have a book review on it later on and i wanted to read the thing about jellyfish more than half of one crazy summer and then i wanted to read like one chapter of birdfield i both i accomplished the mission of reading the thing about jellyfish and then i totally read one crazy summer 100%, but I feel I kind of rushed through it in the end because I was in a hurry and I was actually five minutes late, but hopefully it counts. And Brickfield, I wanted to read it, but as you all know, the time I finished One Crazy Summer, it was five minutes after the readathon ended, so I couldn't read this, but hopefully I'll be re able to read it later and then maybe have a book review on it if I really like it. So, yeah. And I really recommend this readathon for a lot of people. If you like this video, like this video. For more contents like this, subscribe. And if you have anything to ask me or Alice and have any suggestions, put it down in the comments. Don't hesitate. Bye.